Good evening. We're back with more Marvel Champions. And this evening we'll be playing Adam Warlock versus the Tower Defense. Scenario 2 of Mad Titan's Shadow Campaign. For this campaign we need the Shwarma Place location. Save this Shwarma Place, the side quest and security breaches in the campaign pool so that goes into the encounter deck. He ended the last scenario with 11 HP. So this scenario is unique which I'm happy to see. We've got two side quests, two villains, or two main quests I mean and two villains. So let's take a look. We've got the Avengers Tower, which is what we're defending. When this stage would be completed, remove all the threat from this stage instead, then deal each player one face down encounter card. When this stage would be completed, remove all the threat from this stage instead, then deal six damage to Avengers Tower. Avengers Tower has nine damage on this side, nine on the other. When Proxima Midnight attacks you, choose to either deal one damage to Avengers Tower or Proxima Midnight gets plus two attack. She cannot be defeated while Corvus Glaive has any hit points remaining. After Corvus Glaive makes an undefended attack, discard the top card of the encounter deck, deal one damage to Avengers Tower for each boost icon on that card. And we start the game with a Black Order Besieger. After Black Order Besieger engages you, choose to either deal one damage to Avengers Tower or two to your identity. We'll take the two to the identity and save the shawarma place. Okay. Uh, so, the villain who matches the attached scheme is the active villain. After the player phase ends, attach this card to the other main scheme and it starts out attached to Corvus Clave's scheme. Are there any other setup instructions? Nope. Alright, let's get our hand. Well, let's see. Pip the Troll is kind of underwhelming as far as hero-specific allies go. But do I want to throw him away? We'll just have a reminder that this is the active villain. I think we'll just throw away Cosmic Awareness. And we'll get flipped to Adam Warlock's side. Use Battle Mage for Audacity, 2 damage, and use Adam Warlock for 1 damage. We'll go Cosmic Ward and Pip the troll for Karmic Staff. And then we'll just draw three. So we got one threat. At the end of the player phase, the active switches. So we got one threat, one attack. And I think in this spot we'll take one damage on Avengers Tower and Adam Warlock will defend the attack so it's 4-3, four, 4-5 four, and then we got one encounter card coming which is the villain attacks you three more damage and then we're on to the hero phase that's going to be another damage on Avengers Tower What shall we do here? Go Karmic Staff, Avengers Mansion for Sorcerer Supreme. Beat Cop and Shield Spell for Hulk. Get three damage. Hulk's discard is lightning, so one damage, one damage, one damage. 
one damage. And then we'll draw six. Do I want to flip to Alter Ego here? I think I need to. Flip to Alter Ego, draw six. Adam Warlock is kind of weak early until he gets set up, particularly with his Mystic Senses. And we'll flip. I'm not, don't think I'm gonna move this card around anymore. I'm just gonna flip this indicator from hero to hero, or villain to villain. So, we got one threat, and the villain is going to scheme for one, two, three. If damage from this attack, it's not an attack. So one, two, three, and then we got one encounter card coming, which is city under attack. Okay, onto the hero phase. We'll probably need to recover without a warlock. We'll use energy for mystic senses. We'll use strength for summoning spell. That's a hero action, so we gotta let's heal, and then we'll flip, and then use summoning spell for martyr. Good value. But I have limited threat removal for sure. Use Karmic Staff and Innovation for Karmic Blast. One, two, three, four. That's three extra damage, so seven damage total. Go seven damage there. No. Go 7 damage to Corvus Glaive. And use Hulk for 3. Hulk gets to heal 1 HP from the card that I used to pay for Karmic Blast. And Hulk's discard unfortunately discards him. So no HP remaining on Corvus Glaive. We'll use Martyr to deal 2 damage there. And we'll go ahead and draw six. I should have drawn a card when I used Adam Warlock. Wait, did I use Adam Warlock's ability? No, I don't think I did. So we'll draw six. Move the active. Then we got one threat. We got one attack. Uh, we'll put that attack on Adam Warlock, he'll defend, will take one damage on Avengers Tower. Five, so three damage. And then we got one encounter card. Corvus's Cunning. Corvus Glaive activates against you. Well, that's gonna have to be Cosmic Warded, I think. So we'll just cancel that. And then we'll move on to the player phase. Hmm. Threat is a problem, so we probably need to Cosmic Awareness. Quantum Magic, Mockingbird for Cosmic Awareness. Get rid of City under attack, draw a card. Use these two for Wiccan. Thwart for one. Thwart for one. Wiccan's discard ability, two damage. And then we'll draw six. And switch. So one threat. One attack, which will go on Martyr. And one encounter card, which is 
Proxima Spear. Gain overkill and piercing. Now, continuing with the control trend of the recent scenarios. Take one damage and spend lightning and science resources to discard this card. Probably will have to do that. Do attachments discard when you advance, he advance hero phases? I don't think so, right? Let's see, for the hero phase, we've got Soul World, only five cards left in deck. Will we, will we get a chance to use Soul World? Let's go one, two, three for White Tiger and draw two. Quantum Magic and Karmic Staff for Mystic Senses. Let's discard Zone of Silence for Battle Mage and remove two threat. Let's draw two cards for that. Use Adam Warlock, remove one threat. We'll use Angela to play Soul World. Wiccan will thwart for one. Two damage. White Tiger can deal two damage. And we'll put the villains into phase three. Do they have any unrevealed? No, they're the same as they were before, okay. And then we've got to flip to Alter Ego, I think. Alter Ego, draw four. Soul World was just in time, so we get a soul counter there. We get an extra encounter card. And we're on to the villain phase. So one threat, and he's going to scheme for three, and then two encounter cards. Shadow of the Past, can I cancel? I cannot. So we got the Magus. This scenario doesn't seem to have a lot of minions. And exhaustion. And two more encounter cards. Corvus Glaive activates. It's gonna scheme. For three, four, five. That's gonna deal another encounter card. Bound by blood, heal two damage from each villain. They don't have any damage. Give each villain a tough status card. Corvus's Glaive. Gains retaliate one. Okay. Rough turn. Let's go ahead and heal up to full. Flip over to Adam Warlock. Let's get Adam Warlock's cape out. Spiritual meditation. I was really hoping for an aspect card so that I could use his battle mage ability. These Mystic Senses and his cape are going to go unused because of the draw this round. And so do I need to... I think I need to use Wiccan. I'll thwart for one. And now I'm going to thwart for one off of Under Siege. And the two boost will get rid of this toughness. Go Blade and Karmic Blast to take out the Magus. Oh, he should have Quick Strike for two. 
No, I was in alter ego form. Is it up to four? Yeah, so I only needed to discard one. Okay, and then we'll go white tiger. Then we'll draw five. Alrighty. One threat, one attack, which Adam will defend. One damage on the Avengers Tower. Attack is going to be for three, four. And one encounter card, which is Zealot of Truth. Okay. Well, let's go one, two, three, four for Nick Fury. Draw three. Let's discard Angela with Battle Mage for two damage. Draw two. Ready, Adam. Let's go Audacity and Preservation. Deal one damage. Heal one. Play Summoning Spell. Hulk out. Use Nick Fury for two damage. Use Hulk for three. Hulk's discard, unfortunately, discards Hulk. We go one, two for Cosmic Awareness. Remove three threat. Let's get rid of get rid of Universal of Church of Truth. Did I need to do that before? No, I needed to kill the Zealot first. And then we'll thwart for one with Adam and draw five. There's a lot going on in this quest. One threat, one attack from Corvus on Nick Fury. Add the other villain's scheme and attack to this villain's scheme and attack, that doesn't matter. One encounter card, which is Security Breach. Place a random card from their hand face down here. Loop cage. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to look at it or not, but I don't know a way not to look at it. I don't see how it matters. Okay, for the hero phase. Let's discard Zone of Silence for Battle Mage. After we thwart for one. Battle Mage for two. Ready, Adam Warlock, draw two. We'll go one, two, three for Mockingbird. And get a stun on the boss that's going to be active next round. Get rid of Security Breach. Sure, Victory Pile. Let's get out of Luke Cage. Two damage. One damage. And we'll draw five. Draw six. That's going to add a soul counter and bring an additional encounter card. Okay, so one threat. Remove stun. And one encounter card. Proxima's power. Proxima activates against you. It's going to be one damage, and he has overkill, so we're just going to have Adam defend. It's three, four. Give the villain a tough status card. Second one, landing craft. So that brings an additional enemy into play. For the player phase, I'm going to use Battle Mage, get rid of Landing Craft, discard until we find a minion, that's Outrider, easy one. We'll use Luke Cage to take it out. So we get to Ready Atom, draw two. 
go determination, remove one threat. Mockingbird, remove one threat. Adam, remove one threat. Staff and quantum magic for karmic blast. No, Adam will leave one threat and deal one damage instead, so then we can karmic blast. Two extra damage, so six total. Let's go rapid response for magic attack. Deal three damage there, so two discards. Or three discards. And do I need cosmic awareness? I'll keep it. Draw four. And flip over. So one threat. One attack. He's got retaliate. I'll probably want to get rid of that glaive before I start dealing with him. He'll attack Mockingbird. One encounter card. Black Order Berserker. Deal one damage to Avengers Tower or two to your identity. He'll take one on the Avengers Tower. So what do I want to do for the hero phase? Let's discard Wiccan for Battle Mage after Adam Warlock deals a damage. Battle Mage, so we get flip, save the shawarma place over. Black Swan engages. Interesting. We get a copy of shawarma. Hopefully shawarma is good. Ooh, three resources, that's pretty good. Four per player, add toughness. After Black Swan engages you, discard one from your hand. Let's use Luke Cage to take out the Besieger. I'm not sure that I would have chosen to do that if I had known what it does. In fact, I probably wouldn't have. Let's see. Lightning, strength. Can't do that right now. I can go one, two, three, four for Nick Fury and draw three. Angela's a little risky, but we'll do it. Look at the top seven. Oh good, we got an Outrider there. So we'll use Angela to take out the Outrider. We'll use Fury to remove the toughness here. And then we'll just go ahead and draw four. So we got one threat, we got one attack coming, which is going to have overkill, so we'll have Adam defend it. It's for four, Zell of Truth comes into play, so two damage. We got an attack for two and an attack for two. One of those will go on Nick Fury for two, and one of those on Adam Warlock. Then we got one encounter card coming, which is, oh, and also one damage on Avengers Tower, so I don't get plus two from Proxima. Black Order Infantry. Uh-oh. This is tough. So. Protection does what? Heals one damage from an ally. Two, four for Black Swan. Let's go discard... But I'd really like to get out Martyr. So discard shield spell. Heal one from an ally. Draw two. Ready out of Warlock. I think I'm going to Karmic Blast. 
one of these dudes. Give the villain a tough status card. I guess that's just the active villain, right? And actually, I think I want to Karmic Blast the other one. While wow, this Proxima Midnight is the active, because adding a tough to her doesn't matter. Let's go Preservation and Pip the Troll for Cosmic Awareness and reduce three. Heal for one. And let's thwart for one, I think. Draw five. Okay. One threat. One attack, which will go on Angela. One attack from the Zealot of Truth, which Adam Warlock will defend. And one encounter card. The Villain Schemes. Gonna scheme for three, four. That's gonna deal another encounter card. And we get an acceleration token. How does that work? I'm gonna assume it's one for each quest. It's possible it's supposed to only go on the active quest, but do one for each quest. Gang up. The villain and each minion engaged with you attacks you. Uh oh. Uh, well, we'll have to have Luke Cage defend. So it's for two, three. Already has a tough status card, so one, two, three. That defeats Luke Cage. Zealot of Truth attacks for two. So we're alive. Let's go ahead and use. Shwarma plus, now let's use Karmic Staff plus Innovation for Iron Heart and draw a card. Let's use Hulk for two damage. Ready Adam Warlock, draw two cards. It's gonna be a second soul counter and also another encounter card. Let's go Shwarma plus, now it's Spiritual Meditation. Draw two, discard Cosmic Awareness. Let's go Shwarma plus Determination for Martyr. Use Martyr for two damage. Give her Toughness. And let's get rid of this if I can. Lightning and Strength, that's expensive. Four resources, but I think in this situation it makes sense to do it. Remove tough, one damage, draw five. I think we're gonna flip to alter ego here and use soul world. And then draw. Okay. Two threat, villain's gonna scheme. Four. Ouch, that's going to deal six damage. So we flip Avengers Tower over. Okay. One more encounter card. Insight two. If Universal Truth of Sight, so we gotta go find Universal Church of Truth. Is it in the discard? No? Where is it? City under attack, landing craft, landing craft. Is it in the victory display? No, where is this card? I 
I am puzzled. Where did this side quest go? Oh, could it be the other encounter card that's waiting to come out? It is. How does that work? I guess it's technically in play, right? So we should discard the top 10 of the deck. <laughs> okay. And we're on to the player phase. So we just need 13 damage. Can I do that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, probably I can. Let's flip. Let's go. 1, 2 for Karmic Blast. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's plus 2, so 6 damage. 7, 8. Adam Warlock for one. Discard Angela for his Battle Mage for two. Draw two. Ready him. You can use Audacity and B Cop for Hulk. That deals one damage, and Hulk can deal the final three. And then Hulk would have another two. This is an interesting scenario. I liked it. It's not too controlly. I think it might be a little bit too easy. But I think in multiplayer it would play very differently, so it's hard to say. And overall, I liked it. The uh, It's complex, like Wrecking Crew. There's a lot going on. Uh, I think Wrecking Crew it has a worse design because of the practically inability to lose on Wrecking Crew. But overall, I like this one. I like this scenario. It seems good. So what do we got for our campaign instructions? Save the shawarma place was defeated. Black Swan is in the victory display. And Avengers Tower was damaged. We're still early in the campaign, but the difficulty balance seems better in this one. And the campaign instructions are very different from Galaxy's Most Wanted. So it does appear that lessons were learned. This seems to be a better campaign. The heroes seem better and more interesting than Groot. I mean, Rocket, I, I like those characters, but Groot was terrible. And Rocket was just so-so for Solo. Spectrum was okay, but Adam Warlock is very interesting. I don't know if he's quite as strong as Spider-Woman was from the Rise of the Red Skull campaign, but he's fun to play. He's clunky sometimes. He feels like he takes a while to get going. His battle mage is very good, and he has a lot of options. He's very versatile. Maybe not that powerful, but I, my opinion of him is growing as I play him more. And I enjoyed this scenario. More than I enjoyed any of the galaxy's most wanted scenarios. And Ebony Maw could be fr a little frustrating at times, but overall I think still better than the galaxy's most wanted scenarios. So, thank you for watching.